Today, December 20th, is already a massive day in AI before OpenAI drops whatever they're dropping for the 12th day of Christmas. And the rumor is it's something called O3. We will see. But already we have four big developments for you. Number one, Aptronic, which is a robotics company, has collaborated with Google DeepMind to release a humanoid robot powered by Google AI. This is big from a long-term perspective because one of the significant bets on the ability of AI to continue to scale intelligence is that we find another big data pool. So when Ilya Sutskiver talked about the internet being our biggest data pool and it's being something that is not renewable, the only way around that is if you give AI access effectively to situational awareness of the real world. Elon has called that out with his cars and his robots. In this case, Google's entering that arena as well. The idea is that when humans learn, human babies take in far more data in their eyes, in their ears, than we give to even our largest large language models in their first three, four years of life. If you can give a robot that kind of data input from interacting with the real world, as you would if it was a you know, actual walking around robot, well, maybe that's a way to get through the pre-training wall and start to continue to scale intelligence. So that's the strategic reason why Google getting into the robotic space is so interesting. But Google's not done yet. So Google also, in the last 24 hours, released a model that took the top spot in the leaderboards from OpenAI's O1. It's called Gemini 2.0 experimental thinking. It's available in the AI studio now from Google. I have played with it. It is amazing. I gave it something that was a document that I thought was okay that uh, Claude Sonnet 3.5 had written. And I said, can you make this better? It was a very short prompt. I did not do my best job at structuring a prompt. It came back with the most detailed critique of how to make the doc better, rewrote the entire doc, and described it in a way I could understand and then gave me the human intent behind it. Like the reason why it did what it did in a way that a human could understand and it made a ton of sense. I was shocked. I ended up using Claude for formatting. And that's not really what you're supposed to use a large language model for, but this model was so good. Gemini thinking was so good that I just didn't need to touch it. Like we've gone from like, it can be a draft to this might be a final draft. And that's a big step forward. And again, OpenAI may drop something even better later today. We will see. So that's number two, Gemini 2.0 thinking, check it out. Number three, Claude released a long awaited update to Excel understanding. So Excel file understanding has been a huge issue for large language models. Claude has been at the forefront of using tool sets to understand these structured data sets and these tables. And Claude released a update that essentially, the Anthropic team is gonna let you handle a Excel file up to 30 megs in size, larger than the normal context window. And they're not really clear quite how they do it. But at the end of the day, Claude is going to be able to look across that entire spreadsheet and extract meaningful insights, even if it exceeds the traditional definition of the context window. And that may be as simple as they're adding a special context window that they can trigger when a very large Excel file goes in. But it's still significant because structured data sets increase combinatorially in complexity, the bigger they get. And so a 30 meg Excel file, like I've worked with those Excel files, they're really, really hard to understand for a human. And so getting the ability to like pull that into an AI is a big step forward. Finally, uh, I did not know this until today, but apparently AI is getting to the point where it can pass the mirror test. So one of the classic tests for intelligence in the animal kingdom is, can an animal recognize that an image in the mirror is itself? My corgi cannot do this. My corgi is dumb as a sack of hammers. But there are animals that can do this. Gorillas can do this. There are other animals that can do this as well. It's a well-known test in biology. And so, of course, people are wondering, can AI do this? And the answer is, AI is getting better and better and better at this. Claude has passed the self-awareness test now, the mirror test. If you take a screenshot of Claude and give it to Claude, 
that's how you do the mirror test and Claude can pass that. Now, it doesn't mean that Claude passes it as often as humans do. Uh, they apparently have a benchmark for self-awareness. I didn't even know this. And AI, uh, the four class models score at about 50% on self-awareness and humans score above 90%. I didn't know we didn't score 100%, but I guess we don't. Uh, maybe nothing is 100% in this world. But anyway, the point is that the four class models are significantly better than the three class models at self-awareness and we should expect them to continue to get better. And yes, that imposes really deep philosophical questions. And we're going to be asking a lot more philosophical questions around AI in 2025. So that's your update. I will drop something else later in the day uh, as OpenAI has their final day release party. But I thought this news was too important not to share.